Stubai so far has been considered as a family-friendly resort, not for free riders. Although I know that the free riding history is long on Stubai Glacier. Yeah, actually we have 109 3,000 meter high peaks here in the Stubai Valley and people are climbing it for over 150 years now and also in winter with skis and in summer without skis and what the people did 40 years ago that was also free riding but uh, at this time uh, the wide skis are getting even more popular and people call it free riding and that's something new and everyone wants to try it yeah okay so considering that i'm quite a good skier and hungry for free riding and i come here what shall i do yeah first of all you need to know that free riding is off piste you are not secured from avalanches you are not secured from different other alpine dangers so first of all you need to get the information about the weather situation about the avalanche situation yeah and then when you think it's safe um, you can take a look at our new powder department routes mm -hmm. and there are there, there are 11 different routes in different levels and then you can choose on your own risk where to go mm -hmm. How would you explain the idea of powder depart department? Yeah, the, the powder department is something brand new. Um, the idea is to um, help average skiers and snowboarders to get the pleasure of skiing off piste. Mm -hmm. yeah? So if you're not very pro, it's better to hire a guide and to go being accompanied for somebody who knows the area very well, right? Yeah. Um, that's what I said first. You need to get the information yeah? and then you have to calculate the risk. Um, here we have a few uh, very good guides and uh, they offer professional free ride trainings and free ride camps and they also take you for day trips yeah? just to help you to get you the ski technique and everything. So it's even safer and more comfortable to get the guide. The guys in the sport shop offer professional uh, safety equipment and you can as well train yourself here at the beep station at Gamsgarten. There is a computer terminal and there are some trans transmitters uh, already in the snow. So you can immediately start to train the beeper search. Um, and also on Saturday in the afternoon there is a professional training with a guide at the Beep Station Gamsgarten. Mm -hmm. So all over the week you can train on your own for free and on Saturday uh, afternoon from 1 to 4 there is a professional training with a guide and that this one costs 25 euros. Okay, is free riding reserved only for expert skiers or if you're let's say intermediate regular skier you can go off piste as well? Yeah, um, it depends a little bit on the conditions. Yeah? If the snow is good, um, I would say an average skier who can ski a red slope in parallel rhythmic turns, yeah, then you can go off on an easy free red slope. For example, we have one route, the free red zoo, uh, that's uh, especially for beginners and you can try it there. Yeah? Okay. So let's say that I check the weather, the snow conditions, I know how to do free riding more or less, so what is the basic equipment that I necessarily have to take off pistes? The basic equipment is the beeper, the shovel, the probe in a backpack. That's the basic equipment. Okay, so this is absolutely what you need to have going off pistes. Yeah. Okay. Can you show us a little bit about your backpack? What is special, what special feature such a backpack, backpack should have? Oh yeah, this is a guide's backpack, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is always a little heavier um, than regular ones. Regular ones yeah. um, here I have an emergency case in here that I can quickly start with the rescue. There is my shovel, a yeah, solid aluminium shovel. Um, then there is my probe. Um, okay, then I can start. Um, here I have my beeper <laughs> and business cards for as well. <laughs> Very important. Um, then we need maps, for example, that you can uh, plan the route. That's also an important thing to get that you know where you are. This is our powder department map, for example. 
Um, then. <laughs> what, do we, what else do we find? Screwdriver for bindings. <laughs> then. Something to drink. Very important. Extra gloves. <laughs> Extra jacket. A BV bag. Maybe you don't know what it is. I can show you what it is. If somebody is injured, mm -hmm. this is a very, very helpful thing. Um, you can, it's, it's like a, a little sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Protect from getting cold. Protect from getting cold. And as well, this is also a good one, you can <clears throat> help someone get off the mountain. You mm -hmm. can uh, build up something like a sleigh, mm -hmm. yeah? Like a sledge. And yeah? him down. So this is a very, very good thing. Um, it's also quite comfortable if you want to sit on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can try it. <laughs> it's even warmer. You make it a little okay. bit more comfortable for us. Yeah. Okay. And then. Now we can talk for hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then a solid first aid kit. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do I have in here? Yeah. Uh, little string, some plasters, and on the other side. Yeah, a triangle, uh, another alu. Mm -hmm. um, how do you say? Alu blanket. Alu blanket, yeah, which also um, saves you from cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, tape, mm -hmm. and um, in here we have a Sam splint. Yeah, that's something very special. Yeah. So you need a proper first aid kit as well, yeah. And what I have here is an avalanche backpack. If I pull here, two balloons coming are, are coming out, and they can save you. From, uh, getting below from getting avalanche. below the snow mm -hmm. in an avalanche. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a 100% solution. Okay. The, biggest, the biggest thing is not to come into an avalanche. Okay. Yeah? So <laughs> Do you have yeah. a whistle also here? Ah, yeah, there's a whistle. Yeah? There right? is a whistle can you explain me how the pit works a little bit? Yeah, actually, everyone who is skiing off piste should have a beeper like this. Uh, when you go off piste, you can put it on sand. And then you have to make sure that everyone of the group is sanding. So first of all, you start with a beeper check. Mm -hmm. You should carry the beeper in the middle of your body in the harness. They also have a harness and you should carry it in your harness under your jacket. Okay, then you can go free riding and if something happens, if a person or more persons get caught by an avalanche, the other ones can start to rescue. Then you have to put it on search. Then it takes two or three seconds, yeah, and then it starts to beep. And then here you have the distance and an arrow, and if the distance is getting lower, you're in the right direction. If the distance is going up, mm -hmm. you have to turn uh, okay. around and yeah. Mm -hmm. If you train it, you, you will find it. Okay. How about RECO system? Is it something similar to PEEPS? Is it enough to have RECO? No. Let's say it like this. The PEEPS devices, they are for the friends rescue. You need to be very fast in rescuing your friends because you only have 15 minutes time. Um, so th that's what the peeps is for. The RECO is for the organized rescue team. So if our professional rescue team is coming by helicopter, they will come after 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a beeper, maybe you have a RECO and then they will find you. But the chance of surviving is very small. So I've got my safety uh, equipment, but I'm not sure whether it worked well, right? So what can I do? 
Yeah, that's a safety equipment. It's working well. Yeah, also in 99% it's working well. Yeah. If you want to train, you can come to Gamsgarten to the beef station. And here we have a computer terminal. You can uh, follow the guideline in the computer and choose a level. And yeah, it takes a little bit. Yeah. But then it's starting. And the only thing you need is your beeper and the probe. Yeah. And then you can go up the field and uh, try to search something. And if you find it, you get a signal. Okay. So that's pretty comfortable because you can easily train the beeper search. So concerning that we checked the weather, we've got the equipment, the safety equipment. We are good skiers, we're going off piece. What is the last advice that you would give to them? Yeah, free riding and off piece skiing is uh, so much fun. And you have to make sure that the, at the end of the day, uh, it's still fun. If you have an accident or if there is some, someone dying, yeah, it's not funny anymore. And yeah, you need to uh, decide how much risk you take and me as a guide, I always try to lower down the risk and try not to go steep, try to go around and yeah, try to have fun. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. <laughs>